Hello guys, I'm back with another progress video for my hero. And um, there were some minor changes to my hero. Three, three pieces of my gear has been replaced. First off is the helmet. This is the Absolute Knight helmet. Um, remember I told you guys that I needed Absolute's helmet as fast as possible because it gives me 30% boss damage and 20 attack. And I really needed that boss damage because my boss damage was way too low. Anyways, this is the helmet. Um, I got it to 17 stars real quick, only 400 mil, fully scrolled, and its flame stats is 27 strength and 6% all stat. That's pretty mediocre, but I had no choice because there was no Absolute's helmet on the market. I had to make this from the start. And flames are very expensive, and this is the best result I got after like 20 flames. So I have to stick with this. And as you can see, the scrolls on it, um, you're wondering, what did you do to this helmet? As you can see, it has no added strength from the scrolls. Um, I attack scrolled it. Right now it's at 51 attack. And um, I'm going to regret this in the future because spell tracings are actually the best way um, to scroll your gear. Because it gives a lot of strength. And because I attack scrolled it, my, uh, my strength percent potentials won't be as effective because I'm lacking a lot of strength now. But I'm pretty satisfied with it. It was cheap making it. Actually, not really because I spent a ton of money on flames. But I got it to 17 stars in 400 mil, and I'm pretty happy with that. And if I want to ever replace this with spell tracings, I'm probably just gonna sell this and just get a new one from the start again because I don't like the flame stats on it. So yeah, and um, I wanna, I kind of wanted to keep my previous helmet to you know compare how much range I lose and gain by replacing it with Absolute's helmet but I used Todd's hammer on this to get the potential as you can see that's the same exact potential as my Chaos Fruit Ibis helmet that I had previously because I Todd's hammered it and moving on um, these are the two Chaos Fruit Ibis top and bottom that I've been always been nagging to you guys about like I don't like it I don't like it actually did I nag it to you guys? <laughs> But you know, I don't like these two, so I replaced it. Um, this is my new top. It has 92 flamed strength and 60 flamed dex. Now, dex is my secondary stat, and dex actually helps increase your range a little bit, and it synchronizes with all stat very well. So it's better than nothing. So this is actually a pretty decent top um, it has decent potentials it's at 17 stars but it's only been scrolled five times um, that's that's a lot of that's a problem with me actually i have a lot of gear that isn't fully scrolled like my shoe glove cape you know a lot of my stuff but you know six six uh <coughs> 67 k in increase in range um, but the thing with Hero is because he has 203% final damage increase, I gain 180k, about, as you can see. And this is my uh, pants. Although I didn't get it to 17 stars, it's been fully scrolled, and it has ridiculous flame stats. Look at those flame stats. 64 strength and 6% all stat. Uh, its potential is okay. Um, I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna queue all my gear so that it becomes yellow. That my character becomes Simpson. That's my goal. But yeah, increase in range, 41k, three times that. So there it is. And so this is currently the outcome of my hero right now, with just in range and five com uh, ten combo stacks. I'm at 5.2 mil. Let's pop all my buffs and see how much of an increase in range I would get. 5.8. Okay. 5.9 mil. Pretty decent. And, um, something else that I wanted to talk to you guys is I got my ability finally. Attack speed. Yes! I got attack speed finally. I spent so much mesos on <laughs> Mulong Dojo honors trying to get this thing. It was ridiculous. 
but finally I got attack speed. My critical hit chance is at, uh, whoa, 67%. But once this expires, oh, it's already expired. Okay. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I bought the sharp eye glove. Hold on. I got the sharp eye glove. So 77%. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I could kill Chaos Bellum in probably 14 minutes, about. Um, my core upgrades are still in progress. It's at level 21 on Raging Blow and Final Attack. As you can see. Um, I need to level more and lock more slots. That's my current goal. But um, I also did not buy a sub weapon yet. Because I'm still considering moving over to Paladin, and I probably will. <laughs> but if I could, if I could find a good hero sub weapon before I make that jump, then I'll stay hero. And second thing I I want to talk about is um my current staff was at 241 uh 248, which is pr which is pretty good, and my arcane force is only at 50. But I'm being able to one-shot kill a lot of mobs here. Because, let me tell you guys, a very huge pro about Hero and the Core Gems. Hero is very easy to upgrade. Because your Raging Blow is both your training and bossing skill. And final attack as well. So, so uh, maybe a little bit of Uprising and Shout. But... To be honest, all you have to upgrade is Raging Blow and Final Attack, and you can both train and boss efficiently. Hero is very good at this. I didn't even realize this until I, I'm only at 50, no, 50 Arcane Force, but I'm, I'm one-hit KOing like all the mobs. Um, my all stats at 13k. Um, that's actually kind of bad, I think. Uh, I need to work more on my potentials. The reason I have all my items locked is because um, I don't want to touch them until next month. I don't want I don't want to spend any mesos on these any long anymore until next month. That's why I locked it, so I'm not you know <laughs> tempted to. But I didn't lock my pants because I still want to get this to 17 stars ASAP, and I want to re-roll my emblem. That is why I didn't lock those. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, um, I'm gonna be uploading a video of a flame wizard, fifth job, taking down a couple bosses, you guys might be interested in that, but I'll be back with another video soon, get my hero stronger.